السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. Okay, we'll just give a couple of minutes for everybody to get in. How is everyone? Alhamdulillah. It's very hard these days. Are you guys feeling hot? Yes. Very hot. Okay. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. 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 All right. I have some less attendance today. Let's hope a few more people join. So today I prepared a lecture ahead of time. So let's see if this makes any sense. And if not, then I can write some of this stuff down. Okay. So in the previous uh, lessons, we have been spending a lot of time on Fele Madi. And from a Fele Madi, we started to spend a lot of time on the creating a sentence. And what we have learned so far that a sentence, a verbal sentence. Okay. Okay. Right. So a verbal sentence will must, it starts with a fail, which is a verb, and it must have a file. Okay, but in some sentences, we can also have the maf'ul. Now, what is file? It's the subject, and maf'ul is the object. Now, the sentences which uh, require file are known as fairly lazim. What are they known as? Fairly lazim. And the one which requires the maf'ul, they are known as fairly muta'addi. In English language, we say transitive and intransitive words, right? In the last lecture, <clears throat> we talked about that a file in a verbal sentence can be come as a zahir or as a pronoun. Remember that one? Last lecture? Yeah. Um, we said it could be either zahir or zamir. And a mafool also could be zahir or zamir. Okay. So in today's lecture, what I'm trying to show you, a, a kind of a matrix, I'm trying to show you a matrix. That, okay. <clears throat> Let's say we have a Joomla and we have a file. <coughs> Brother Javi, are you okay? Yeah, fine, yes sir. Alhamdulillah. So think about it, that if we have a Joomla, we have the fail and we have the file and we have the mafool. So one of the possibility is that both the file and the maf'ul is zahir, meaning the, the, the file in maf'ul is visible. It's not a pronoun. So what is the example of that? Nasara zahidun hamidan. Now, I've already put the translation there, but can you guys see which one is the file? <coughs> Zahid. Why is Zahid on his file? It's a rough status. It's a rough, right? Because it's the status of rough. Is, is Zahid a noun or a verb? No. No. 
if he understands the law, Rafa. Rafa. So that makes him defile. And Hamidan. Nasab, right? So is uh, is the uh, file zahir or pronoun? Zahir. 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 Is maful zahir or pronoun? Zahir. 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 The Both second are. combination is that second possibility is that the file and the maful they could both be pronoun. In Arabic, we call them zamir. Okay. For example, nasarahu. Nasarahu mean he, he right? So what is the file here? He, he. which is the pronoun? Nasara. Nasara. Who, right? The, the pronoun is who, and this who is one. Which one is that? Actually, the he is whoa. Sorry, I should say whoa, right? Hua. And him is who. Who. Making sense? So yeah. this category. Both me, both the file and the mafu could be the me. Okay. What is the third possibility? The third possibility is that the file could be zamir, a pronoun, and maful could be zahir. So if I say daraba hamidan, what is hamidan? Object. Hamidan is object. Object. Object is maful. Is maful zahir or zamir? Zahir. 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 What about Daraba? Daraba is hidden. Zamir. The file is hidden and it's a Zamir. Yeah. Can you guys now, by now, can you identify that information? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Now the fourth, the fourth uh, possibility is that the file is Zahir and the Maful is Zamir. Okay. So I want to say he or Hamid hit him. him. Okay. So if I follow my pattern, fail plus file plus maful, I am going to say Daraba Hamidun who, yes, making sense? Daraba. Okay. Daraba is the fail. Is the file Zahir or Zamir? Zahir. Zahir. So when that happens, Daraba comes itself and we say Hamid hit and him is who? Yeah? Yes? Yeah. Daraba is yes. not uh, he hit? No, because when, when there is Hamid in front of it, oh, okay. Hamid becomes that Zahir. Is... Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The file, then we're gonna say Hamid hit. We're not gonna say he hit because now okay. Hamid is with, right? Okay. So this who is him, right? Now, this who is it attached pronoun or detached pronoun? Attached. It's attached pronoun, right? Yeah. So look at this. Is it attached to anything here? Not yet. Not yet. Does it make sense? Daraba Hamidun who? Does it sound like no. a sentence? No. So in that situation, what we do? Say Daraba who Hamid. What we do? We make the Zamir attached with the fail. With the Mafu. Gets attached with what? Daraba. Daraba. Fail. Fail. So then the combination becomes the change of maful has come before the file. So the reason of showing you all this information is that you, when you are next time with the sentence, you should be able to identify Zahir, Zahir, Zamir, 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 Zahir, Zahir, Zamir. And then what happens in this fourth category that the attached has to go get attached with the verb. Okay, does Hamidun change the file? Is the file is changed? <coughs> look like my young uh, is very good understanding and she's very excited, mashallah. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Fawad, very good training, mashallah. <laughs> she's, she's learning from the, the mashallah. That's very good. Okay, is everybody clear on this slide or this page? Any question on this? If there is no question, because the rest of the lecture is based on this one page. 
Okay, so if there is no question, maybe then I will go to the page two. Again, one more time, because then I will ask question <laughs> if you don't ask question. Brother Abid, salam alaikum. Sorry, I'm, I'm late. Can you briefly go over this page again? Okay, so Thank I was you. saying that we are studying Fele Madi, and when we learn Fele Madi, at some point we have to start making sentences. And the sentences are verbal sentences. The format of the verbal sentences that it starts with a verb, it must have a subject and must have an object. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there are four possible scenarios that in a sentence, the file is visible, the maful is visible. And the, the, the example is Nasara Zahidun Hamidan, meaning Zahid helped Hamid. So both the subject and the object are visible. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yes. In the second scenario, they could both, the file and the maful can be zamir, which is pronoun. So here we said nasarahu, nasarahu, it both have hidden pronouns. So he is hidden and him is the who here. Making sense? Mm -hmm. So both the file and the maful is zamir. Then the three, third possibility third, is third possibility, that the file could be zamir. Could be zamir. And the maful is, is zahir. And the example is, the example is daraba hamidin. Daraba hamidin. Now hamidin is what a status? Nasab. Nasab. So nasab means that is is a maful, right? So maful yeah. maful is zahir, and daraba is he hit hamid. That means the file is zamir, and the maful is zahir. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, number number four, then we can have the, the file as Zahir and the maful is Zamir. In that case, I said Hamid hit him, Daraba Hamidun, who, but that doesn't sound very good. So what we said in this case, the Zamir, which is a, supposed to be attached, it gets attached to the verb. Making sense? So we say Darabahu Hamidun. Yes. Okay, very good job. So if that is clear, now let's look at the second page. Okay. In our previous class before Ramadan, we talked about Murakkabat. Does anybody remember Murakkabat? We use them yeah. in the nominal sentence, the Jumla Ismiya. So Murakkabat, I can tell you there are four Murakkabat. Murakkabe, Jari, Murakabe Ishari, and Murakabe Tosifi, and Murakabe Izafi. Any, does anybody remember those? Does anybody remember? Yeah, this one on the incomplete sentences, yeah? No, no, no. Uh, Murakabad, Murakabad is a combination of or more words, right? Murakabad is a compound. Okay. A okay. Compound, let's, yeah. let's talk about an example. Khalakatani. What is the, the translation of Khalakatani? Khalakatani. I created you. Created me. Who? Who created me? You. Khalakatani. Khalakatani. You created me. Khalakatani. Me. You created Allah. me. You created okay, me. let's say, okay, you, you're right. So you created me, not he. So is the the fail, the file, and the maful in this one word, right? What is the verb? Khalaka. Khalaka. And what is the file? Anta. Anta, you, right? And he and me is what? Ni. Object, right? Object. Now, is this both Zahir or both Zamir? Zamir. So this is case number two. Both the file and the maful is? Zamir. Zamir. Okay, good job. Now, what about Minan Nar? Minan Narin? From fire. 
from fire. fire. Okay. Fire. So if you remember, min is basically a preposition. And what do we call preposition in uh, in Arabic? Jara. 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 Yeah. Jara. So from nar, narin mean that this this compound here is murakkab jari. Jari. Okay. And we call it jar majroor. When we have min and narin, the name we give it jar majroor because the min has made the narin. In the status of jar, because it has to be jar, narin, minan narin. So he, yeah. you created me from fire. Now in this sentence, minan nar, is it file maful or something else? What is it? Is it telling you anything about the file or the fail maful? Yes. It's actually telling us with the action of created creation. Yeah, creating. Yeah. So this kind of murakkab. Ni, yeah, ni, ni is maful here. Yeah. Yes, ni is maful, which is me. You are the you are the uh, yani Allah subhanahu wa taala is Fire. the subject. The subject. Yeah. Nar is additional information about the action of creation. So in Arabic, it's known as mutalik. Even in the jumla ismiya. Mm. Jar Majroor used to be called Mutalik Khabar. Remember Jumla Ismiya? Muptada Khabar? It used to be Mutalik Khabar. Yeah. Uh, it's not adjective, right? Adjective, that's different, right? Yeah, that's Tosifi. I'm coming to that. This is Jari. Mukabe Jari. Jar Majroor. Jar or Majroor because it has the Harufa Jara in it. Okay. Is that making sense? What's yes. the meaning mutaallik? Mutaallik means about. It's uh, related to the fail. In this sentence, yes. nar is related to the action of creation. Yes. Because he created me yes. from fire. So I'm giving you additional information that what did he create me of? Yes. So I'm giving you more related, related information about the action. Yes. Is that clear? Okay. Let's see. So, Mashallah, uh, Brother Javed, are you clear on this? Yeah. Okay. Brother Kabir? Yes, yes. Alhamdulillah. Brother Majid? Yeah, I was. Okay, you're clear on this, right? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But uh, I think. Uh... Yes. So the uh, yeah, what I was telling that it is like um, these all like uh, murakabat is like under the murakabi yeah? Uh, no, we're not talking about like, murakabi No. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, we yeah, have, you're right, you're right. Yeah, like one is, yes. yeah, one is like murakabi right. and yes. murakabi yes, yes, yeah? you're right. Sorry, I the category of murakabat is murakabi yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, this was I'm confused. Yeah, okay, confused. no worries. This is murakabi. Yeah. Nakisa. So, what is yeah. the murakkab name? Murakkab jari. When a murakkab jari comes in a sentence, yeah, it give us additional day, information. Yeah. It is information about the action. Mm. Okay. Now, what are the other murakkabat? We have murakkab e ishari, murakkab e tosifi, and we have murakkab e izafi. Okay. So, what is murakkab e ishari? That it has a isme ishara in this. Okay. The isme ishara haza is there. Okay. Murakkabe tosifi is the one which tells you the adjective of the. the like it gives you some quality of that uh, noun. Okay. What is haza waladu? Ishari. Haza waladu. This is the boy. This. This boy. This boy. No, no, this boy. Not this, this boy. boy. This boy. Okay. Now, what is the difference between Hazal Waladu wa Hazal Walada? Hazal Walada is a complete sentence. Murakkab and Akis. That is a. Part one. No, the status is Nasab. Yes, sir. And the status is Rafa. Okay. Now, in a in a verbal sentence, we need a file and a maful, right? 
We need a file and a full in a verbal sentence. Agree? Yes. 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 Is the file in the status of Rafa? Yes. Yes. And maful is in the status of nasab. Yes. Yes. So murakkab ishari in a verbal sentence can be both used as a file and it can be used as a maful. Is that making sense? It can be used in the place of a file and it can be used in a place of a maful. Okay. If it's in the file category, what are we going to call? Hazal waladu, because al waladu is in what status? Rafa. And walada? Nasa. Nasa. What is haza? This. Haza is me ishara. Now haza is mabni. Right? What is mabni? There's no change. No change. So in all three status, it's gonna be haza, haza, haza. Yes. Yes. Right. But then in this sentence or in this murakkab, how do I know Haza is Rafa? Because, because Al Waladu is Rafa. So we know that Haza here is Rafa. You understand? Because Mabdi yeah. will not tell you what is the status. But in order yeah. to understand, yeah. you need to look at the Al Walada is Nasab, then Haza is Nasab. The reason is because murakkab ishari all four characteristics of the noun has to be similar. Muzakkar, muzakkar, rafa, rafa, you know, adad, and uh, adad, jins. adad, adad, and jins, jins. You understand? Jins. Yeah. Okay. You know, most of my students are very quiet today. What's going on, guys? Jins. Sister Fazilat. Okay. So, you know what? I think you should trying, unmute. Trying to absorb. Okay. So, you know, some participation will help me a little bit. So, this is a very uh, involved and interactive kind of a lecture. So, if you participate with me, then I will feel that I'm getting the message across. Okay. So, let's talk about Murakabe Ishari. Hazal Waladu. Hazal Walada. Why did I do that? Because in a verbal sentence, I can use a Murakabe Ishari both as a file and as a mafo. Agree? Okay. okay. Now let's take a look at an example so that before I change the subject, you guys know what I'm talking about. So, Murakabe Ishari as a file. Okay. I want to say, this boy helped me. Yes. This boy helped me. What is the file here? Help boy. This boy. Help. This boy. Okay. This boy Help. is. This boy subject. Is subject and me is object. 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 action help. 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 okay first of all this boy is a file is it zahir or zamir zahir zahir, zahir. zahir. mashallah and this this me is also zamir. 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 zamir okay so if you look at this combination file is zahir and the maful is what Zamir. 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 So how do we do that? Remember, we take the the, the Zamir and we attach it with the verb. Yeah. Right? Fail. So, so what? How do we say? Nasarani. Nasarani. Hazal waladu. Nasarani. Hazal waladu. Okay. Now look at this. Hazal waladu is the file, right? I'm using the same word here as the file i'm using it as a file first so file is what is it zahir or zamir zahir zahir and maful is zamir 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 now the sentence i want to use i say they helped this boy now i'm trying to use the same sentence as maful okay i'm using hazal waladu now as a maful so I said they help this boy. Uh, Who is the subject? They. 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 What is the action? Help. 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 This boy? Object. 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 So Object. they is what? Is it Zahir or Zamir? Zamir. 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 And Mukul, this boy is Zahir or Zamir? Zahir. 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 So what we do? 
we say that Zamir and Zahir, yes, this category, Daraba Hamidan. So basically, what are we going to say? Nasaru Hazal Walada. Why Walada? Because it's object, so it has to be And Nasaru is what? The verb plus the Zamir, right? So it is into be Rafa. Rafa. Tell me that you understand this and it's making a lot of sense. If you say that, then I feel confident that you're getting it. It is making sense, Sharla. Making but sense? We need, to, we need to practice a lot. Okay. But do you get the concept? Do you understand yes. what I'm yeah. trying to? Yeah. And is it, am I making it easy for you to understand this? Oh, yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Yes. Alhamdulillah, because this is important. Yes. Because now the only thing you're missing is the practice. Yeah. But if you you dissect and you divide things like this the way i'm telling you inshallah you will not make a mistake okay so brother javed remember last time you asked me that i should give you more examples like this yes thank you right? so much and i'm i hope that this is helping you because uh, this this is how you are going to program it into your mind that okay is the maful zahir or is you know is a zameer and what kind of murakkabat I'm using. And inshallah, now a longer verse in the Quran will start to make sense to you. Inshallah. Okay. So this was murakkab ishari What was this murakkab? Ishari. So murakkab jari was mutalik. It was not a file or mafur. So now I remember the difference now. The murakkab jari is mutalik about the fail is is related to the fail it giving me additional information but it is not acting as a file or maful can we remember this that murakkab jari is not going to act as a file or maful it is going to give me additional information about the fail but murakkab ishari can be either a file or it can be a maful making sense Yes. Okay, good. Now the murakkab tawsifi is al waladu al waladu tawilu al walada al walada tawila. Why tawilu and why tawila? Nasab and uh, rafa and nasab. And nasab. Because when I need to use it as a file, I need it in the rafa category, right? And when I need to use it as a maful, I need it as a nasab. Okay? So now let's take an example of the murakkab tawsifi and look what i said my sentence is i want to use al waladu tawilu as a file right so i said the tall boy because al waladu tawilu what is the translation of that tawil means tall boy tawil means tall walad is boy the tall boy is the tall boy because the, the translation will be the tall boy. Mm -hmm. the, the tall boy. boy. Yes. Hit him. The tall boy hit him. Mm. Okay. So what is this? This is subject. Yes. Daraba is the verb. Yes. Yes. And this who is oh, object. So what is the file? Is it Zahir or Zamir? Zahir. 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 And maful is Zamir. 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 Now, what category is this? Zahir. Zamir. Four. File and then Zamir. The file is Zahir, and the maful is Zamir, and that is why we added the, the verb plus. Look. So, darabahu al waladu tawilu. So how do you translate it? Darabahu al waladut tawilu. The tall boy hit him. Making sense? Yes. Okay. Now I, the sentence I want to make, I want to say, we helped the tall boy. So is the tall boy, what is the tall boy here? Object. Uh, uh, object. Yes. And who is yes. the subject? We. we and help is the action 
right yeah, now again is the v which is the file is it zahir or zamir zamir and mafool zahir so based on our category which category is this third 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 zamir ta zahir okay so how do we say nasarna nasarna alwaladat tabila alwaladat tabila why alwaladat tabila because it's not nasab because it's object right and where is the zamir here for the file na na nasarna making sense so nasarna is we helped we helped the tall boy okay so now the last one so what is murakkab e tawsifi when you are trying to tell some some quality of uh, a noun of his subject right so al walad tawilu adjective uh, right adjective adjective so that's mm -hmm. the quality right you're trying to tell a quality okay murakkab e izafi is when you are relating something with something mudaf and mudafile right and we have learned in detail what mudaf mudafile is however i'm not going to go into that detail but what it does the mudaf takes the mudafile into status of jar yeah. yeah. right so can i say now ibnu is rafa or nasab rafa rafa rafa, rafa. zaidin is what yes. nasab yeah. jar can i say yeah. ibnu yeah. zaidun No. Can no. I say Ibn Zaidun? No. No. Why? It is a because uh, this is the rule of that. because this is the rule of mudaf mudafile. Mudafile. Mudafile is always has to be in a status of jar. So jar, yeah. Okay. So look what happened. Ibn Zaidin, Ibn Zaidin. So is Ibn Nasab or Rafa? Nasab. nasab so here zaidin will always stay in the status of jar because it's a mudafile mudafile how do we tell is a rafa because we say ibnu and we here we say ibna making sense okay so we are going to take an example and we are going to say okay that murakkab e izafi as a file zaid's son helped him Zaid son helped him. So, is the Zaid son file? Is it Zahir or Zamir? Zahir. 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 And what about the Mafool? Zamir. 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 Right. So, how are we gonna say? Nasarahu. Zah. Ibnu Zaid. So, Zaid son helped him. Making sense? Yes. They son helped him because this is the subject, this is the verb, and this is the object. Okay. Then we want to use their son as the mafool. So what we're gonna say? We're gonna say you helped their son. So what is the you helped is? Yes. Nasarta. Nasarta, right? Yeah. Nasarta. Ibn Zaid. What is here? What is Zaid here? Ibn Zaid is what? Is it object or mafool? I mean, a file. Object. Object. And what is here? This is the verb plus plus anta, right? Right. Object. Anta, right? Yeah. So this is the file. The file is what? Zamir or Zahir? Zamir. Zamir. And mafool is Zahir. So there you go. That is how you take care of the murakkaba. Uh, okay, any question?
any question guys brother abhi could you please explain a little bit the ibno ibna i didn't got okay. that one okay so murakkab is afi like ibn is it's okay like it's like muzaf mudafi ilay but why is ibn zaidi because ibn here is rafa yeah yeah okay, look at here al walad tawilu the both nouns follow the nasab uh, the rafa status in tawsifi their al walad is rafa and at tawilu is rafa making sense yeah. yeah but in izafi the problem is that muzafile is always supposed to be status of jilat yes yeah exactly yeah so that's why i need when i need a file i need rafa yeah yes so muzafile doesn't matter here the what matters is the muzaf so if i have the muzaf as rafa is always going to be ibn zaidin yeah and when i want it as a maful which is nasab the ibna is nasab does that make sense okay the zaidun will not change it will the same no. remain the same zaidun mudafile and mudafile requires mudafile always be in the status of jar okay rasulullah yeah. the example you did rasulullah kitab allah kalam allah you know something like that so here the ibnu is nasab uh, rafa and ibna is nasab and yes, again all these murakkabat all these murakkab and nafisa they can be used as file and a maful in a verbal sentence except murakkab e jari because murakkab e jari is not going to be file or maful it is always going to be some additional information about the action Make sense? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we still have, mashallah, some time. So, brother, brother Kabir. Yes. Can you please tell me that in a jumla failia, what is the uh, the format? Like, how many things you need, and what is their their pattern? jumla failure uh, yes. file file uh, fail and maful okay is the file comes first or the fail come first fail fail comes first fail comes jumla, first because it yeah. is a jumla failure if it yeah, so okay. start with a word it's not a jumla failure so the the format is that it is going to come with the fail then the file and the file maful. and then maful Now, maful is not necessarily every time maful is not necessary but file is yeah okay good so then what kind of uh, i mean a file can appear in how many how many types zahir or zameer zahir or zameer what about maful maful also can appear zahir and zameer zahir and zameer so brother yeah. altaf what could yes. be the four possible uh, scenarios for file and maful so it could be file could be zahir maful could be zahir very good file could be zameer and maful could be zameer as well very good and file could be zameer and maful could be zahir very good and it's other way around file could be zahir and maful maful could be zameer mashallah mashallah very good job very good job i'm very happy to hear that mashallah okay sister afia how many murakkabat we talked about four four okay what are those um murakkab um, jar murakkab jari murakkab ishari murakkab ishari um murakkab um tawsifi tawsifi very good murakkab izafi izafi mashallah very good job uh, sister noor yes uh, is murakkab jari 
a, can in a verbal sentence can a murakkabi jari come as a file no no what about maful no no so what does it do in a sentence it's uh, um a part of it is to describe a uh, verb further oh very very good job mashallah so it give me some additional information about the action okay great job sister fazilat murakkab e ishari what is a murakkab e ishari i am little bit confused about the arabic words and because i know them in english so i'm little bit you know Please i have tell to me in english no problem just tell me whichever way you feel comfortable the demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronoun means isme ishara right how yeah. many isme ishara we have um this and that the, uh, this is that oh yeah right? oh so, haza is what this this So has al waladu meaning is this this boy. boy. Okay, now haza belongs to what category of nouns? Mm, haza ishare. Ishara, that's right. But remember, we had two categories that they are flexible and non-flexible. Okay, yeah. Mm, I forgot that one. Mabni. Remember mabni. 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 Okay, and what is yeah. mabni? Does not change. Right. Does not change. Same. So if it's hazal waladu, if if hazal waladu, right? Okay. Like for example, I have it here, hazal waladu, right? Mm -hmm. So in this sentence, how do you know what is the status of haza? Haza um rafa. Okay. How do you know that is rafa? Uh, because waladu is also it's a uh, rafa. Rafa, very good job. And is additional information? No, no additional information. No. Remember, in murakkab e jari, okay. a noun has how many characteristics? Four, right? Four. The gender, the number, mm -hmm. the capacity, Second. and the status. In murakkab e ishari, both nouns have to follow identical with each other, like male, oh. male. you know female female one singular singular uh, you know um uh, rafa or marfa marfa and if is rafa then it has to be rafa making sense okay now why the file uh -huh. when we said we're going to use it as a file why did we take hazal waladu hmm. brother javed do you want to help her out Brother Javed. Okay, uh, brother Fawad, do you want to help her out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like why we are taking file is a uh, in yeah because if is Haza al Walad, why are we taking Rafa? Ah, uh, because Haza in uh, this both this uh, should be in the definite like will be in Rafa and Rafa. Okay, so, because file is supposed to be in the status of. Rafa. Rafa. Yeah. Rafa. Rafa. So is, is that clear now? Yeah. Oh. Is it clear now? Yes. Yeah. I have to go over maybe the video again, inshallah. No worries. No worries. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sister Noshin. So yeah. when I am taking murakkab e ishari as a maful, I said hazal walada. Why am I okay. doing that? Because uh, both has to be in the state of nasab. Very good. Hazal yeah. walada. Okay. So, Haza here is uh, Mabni. Very good. So, uh, how do you it. know the status of Haza? Haza because uh, we have Walada. That's why. Because of Walada. So you looked walada. at Walada, and yeah. that's how you can tell me in this combination, okay. Haza is Nasab. Nasab. In this combination, Haza is Rafa because it's attached with Waladu. Murakkab e ishari. They are supposed to be yeah. identical in the the rough the status. So this is waladu. Then this is has to be rafa. If this yeah. is walada nasab, then it has to be nasab. Is that making sense? Yes. So uh, brother Azmin, if I say haza waladun al waladu, uh, because it's al waladu. If I say haza waladun, then it will be haza waladun. You're right. In waladu. here okay. we're using the 
the with the proper noun alwad proper noun yes alwad. right alwad. if you say waladun yeah. that's okay because that is not a proper yeah. noun then you say this boy yeah but see when we say this you cannot say haza waladun because then you are kind of making it uh, any yeah, boy complete, right yeah. there has to be a specific boy because you are making yeah. a ishara to it that's why is al al waladu is more sensible yes it's more sensible yeah okay so uh, sister sajida what is uh, why what is murakkab al tawsifi the murakkab al tawsifi is um, showing the um, more details about the noun uh, actually the uh, the quality the of the noun the quality okay. Okay. okay all right quality of noun and what do they follow the four characteristics of the noun do they follow all of them uh yes yes so that is why al waladu tawilu and al walada al walada tawilu the same category they should be in the same category okay so why is this rafa here because it's uh, the file it's the file and this is maful so it is what is status nasab nasab okay good job so can it be used both as file and maful in the verbal sentence yes yes okay good job okay who else is there uh do i have uh two sister nools or is only one oh i'm sorry i think i lo- used two devices to log in <laughs> probably <laughs> showing two name i'm sorry <laughs> okay sister zahra um murakkab e izafi murakkab murakkab e izafi izafi the one uh, that uh, was just explained yes so what is a murakkab e izafi um it is the combination the, uh, of muzaf and muzafil eh? right yeah, is specific yeah and it tells you a relationship because ibn ibn zaidin mean son of Zay. son of uh, zaid yeah so ibn is the muzaf and who is it related to to zaid so that is muzafi lay right yes so we say son of zaid or zaid son and the yeah. the condition is that the zaid is always supposed to be in the status of ja so murakkab e izafi is a murakkab where you see the relationship the ownership of something okay yes so when you use it file when you use it as a file can you use it as a file in a verbal sentence um uh, the let me just double check here no i don't think so no we can that's why we are writing it here and we did an example we said yeah. that we helped zaistan so yes we can use uh murakkab e izafi as a file and we can also use it as a maful only murakkab e jari we cannot yeah. use as a file or maful making sense yes okay so uh if this is looks like that uh, this uh, review is helping us mashallah okay so what do i need to do now number 4 number 5 i am inshallah going to to scan these and i'll send it to you and hopefully today if the video is it doesn't go corrupt i will upload it inshallah okay so how do i uh, if i say i helped his son okay question is i'm trying to translate something and i'm saying i helped his son what is the what is the translation of that nasartu ibn ibn okay nasartu ibnahu ibnahu okay so what did that mean is what is the file here i help i i i i i is the file and where is i in the sentence two 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 nasartu right very good so is file zamir or zahir zamir me What about the maful? 
His son, right? Is Zahir. Now, Ibn Hu, is it Mudaf Mudafilay? Mudafilay. Mudaf no. Mudafilay, right? Yes. Now we know that that Mudafilay is supposed to be status of Jar. Yes? Mm -hmm. So why did not Ibn Hin? Because it's a okay. The question is: Remember when we say Ibn 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 Zaidin? Remember when we said that? Yes. But here we are saying Ibn Hu, his son. So why is it not Hin Ibn Hin? Because it's a attached pronoun and they are always in Jar or Oh, very good job. So mashallah. So you understand that it's the attached pronoun. An attached pronoun is always from the Nasab and Jar category. Mm -hmm. So this who is basically Jar here. Does that make sense? Brother Fawad? But doesn't this in it look like a Dhamma? Okay. Dhamma, it is. this is who, right? Remember that? Who? He? Remember that part? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So Ibn who is right because when we have the fatha, we put the opposite dhamma. Oh. Remember those rules? Mm -hmm. So Nasar to Ibn who. So I helped his son. Making sense? Yeah, we have to remember all the rules. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now I helped both of his sons. Who is the subject here? I. 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 Subject. No. I. Sorry. I is the subject. I am the helper. Mm -hmm. I am the subject. Verb is helped. Now yeah. both of his sons Ibn is basically what? Mm -hmm. Musanna, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Musanna. Now, if it's an object, yes, then what is status is supposed to be? Yes. So who can tell me the Musanna of two sons? Uh, Ibn, Ibn, is, Ibn is one. Ibn Ibn no. Ibn okay, so let's yeah. write it down. So we know that Ibn is Wahid, right? What is Musanna? Ibnani. Ibn 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 Very good job. Ibnani. Right? And what is the Jama? Walad, Aulad, Banun, Banuna, right? Banuna. Now, Ibnun, Ibnani, Banuna, what status is that? Rafa. What will be the Nasab of Ibnun? Ibnun. What about Ibnani? Ibnani. Ibnani. Making sense? Yeah. Ib, nai, ni. Some, something yeah. here. And what is the musanna? Uh, the, the nasab of jama? Ibnina. Ibnina. MashaAllah. Like muslimina, muslimina, muslimina. Remember that? So here, that's why you're going to take ib, nai, ni. The noon will be dropped and the, the zamir will be attached. Ib, nai, he making sense and why there is he and not who because of ya sakina it's because of ya okay making sense now you see how the musanna because you have to identify whether it's an object or a subject then you have to pick the right and you have to pick the right one from the list of the other do you see the application of the status and the number? That which one you're gonna pick? Depending on whether it's a subject or an object. How do you read it? Ibn he Nasartu Ibn he. There's no alif there. Ib there is alif here. Oh. Right? 
ib nahi hi okay then if i want to say i helped all his sons right then what am i going to use but so nasar tu banai hi banai hi because banai doesn't have the alif so this one doesn't have the alif it's like the same thing as muslimina banina so banai hi because i'm saying his son so his is coming from the he so here in this sentence the file is zahir or zamir in this sentence nasartu is the zamir the is it file is zamir or zahir zamir and his son is maful right zahir mashallah what about here same thing right file is zahir zamir and maful is zahir 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 now even though i had it the singular here and the musanna here and the plural here right plural musanna but why am i keep using nasartu 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 i have me first person mm -hmm. first person i first person file is the same file is Awesome. Okay, because Zamir is uh, the file is Zamir, so in the Zamir category, I am able to use all fourteen combinations. Yes, if Zamir, if the file is Zahir, how many combination am I allowed to use? Only two. two. First two. one. First and four. Four. Two. Why the first one? For males. For males. And the fourth one. Male. for female she, because in this sentence i am using i i i so it become nasartu 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 if you had to say you helped his son you will change the nasartu to nasarta 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 if i want to say you helped his son female nasarti 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 Sir, is that making sense? Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. I think today's lecture was pretty theoretical, and the way you guys answered my question looks like you got it. So I'm very happy, and you should be very proud of yourself. And I hope this will stick. Uh, and if you practice, and you you should allow allow yourself to practice on the Quran, open some uh, verses. try to identify these things yes yes sir okay so jazakallahu khairan inshallah we'll talk on uh, thursday now and uh, if everything goes well i will be uploading the the video later today inshallah tonight okay okay jazakallahu khairan yeah. jazakallahu brother abe this was yeah. very interesting and helpful mashallah yes. Okay inshallah we'll talk to you later okay assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum